Hello and good morning everyone, or good day, wherever you are. This is Kyrie. I am going to do a very brief, or at least I'm going to try to keep it brief, uh, update video for everything, basically. Uh, there's just a few things that I want to talk about, so made a little video. But yeah, I have uh, a few points that I want to cover here, so I'm going to go through them very quickly. Uh, first of all, I want to say I passed 100 subscribers on YouTube. That is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. That took quite a long time. But to be fair, this is a channel that I mostly use to dump the VODs from my Twitch streams, okay? So I wasn't really expecting it to do anything special other than maybe give the chance to some of the people that watch my streams to catch up on things that may have missed, you know, nothing more than that. But unexpectedly, we got past the 100 count and we are now at 120-ish, something along those lines. It's been growing in the last month or so. So was that because of the daily videos? It probably was. Since, I don't know, I started in 2023 to make some more edited videos that I made specifically for YouTube. I didn't make many. I had a very short run of videos from my Hitman Freelance campaigns that I did. So I condensed like hours and hours of stream into 10 minutes video, try to make them a little funny, you know. But I'm not very good at it, so <laughs> whatever. It came out the way it did. But it's only with Halls of Torment that I actually started making a daily series that is made exclusively for YouTube. And people, I think, appreciated that because I went from just a few views for every vault, you know, six to ten, you know, very, very small amount of views. Very normal for a very small stream, right? I have just a handful of viewers, so I wasn't expecting anything. But when I started the Halls of Torment, I saw the views going up, like 20, 30, 50, 60, 100, and then it's like always between 100 and 200 now. It's really nice getting some comments, getting some, some, some likes. That's completely new to me, and I'm glad people appreciate that. I would like to keep doing it, if it's possible. Honestly, I had a blast playing Sol Halls of Torment, but most of you don't know uh, because it's still running, but it's over. I recorded the final episode and I don't have any more. So if you guys want to see more, do let me know. If you have any sort of suggestions for a game that it's in the same kind of ballpark, something that I can do for a daily run, maybe like an hour video at most, uh, do let me know. Do let me know if you have suggestions. Although I gotta be honest, I don't have a lot of money to invest into games so don't tell me hey play binding of isaac it's such a good uh you know roguelike you can do a run in about that time and you're gonna have a blast yeah but the full binding of isaac package is about 50 bucks and i don't have that kind of money to spend on games now if it's a game that costs like three or four euros that's fine but <laughs> uh, don't expect me to invest anything more because i literally cannot but yeah uh that was to say thank you so much for making me pass 100 subs i hope you enjoyed all the videos i made so far and the Halls of Torment series, I'm going to try and find a new game to play daily. And, you know, not to say that Halls of Torment is completely over. Whenever there's an update, whenever there's new achievements, new characters, new stuff, I will come back, I will play, I will make a few more episodes, but yeah, for now, that's uh, done. Anyway, moving on. Oh, how's has it been going in general with my life? I mean... Some of you know that very recently I had this massive issue where a nerve in my mouth died and infected. Long story short, it was a month of pain and just very uncomfortable living with my face all swollen. Uh, it, I had surgery, I had it fixed, it's now healing, it's now much much better. I can talk, I can eat, I can do things, my face is back to normal. <laughs> the only thing I'm left with is my fat my belly that i put on while being mostly in bed for the last month and eating as much as i could not very good food honestly because i couldn't eat normally so i had to i don't know for like three days i survived on ice cream because literally it was the only thing that i could put in my mouth and because of my other health issues i can't eat something like broth for example yeah. so yeah it was it was pretty bad uh, on top of that it was a pretty rough summer it's been i don't know how many of you guys know i live in italy and the summer here has been awful like i'm talking 38 to 40 degrees most days and oh my god it was bad i already don't do well in hot climates as in 
I want to stay lower than 15 degrees if possible. I'm talking Celsius, obviously. Anything between 15 to 20 five i can tolerate anything above 25 it's already too much for me anything above 30 and my body is physically rejecting it like headaches uh dizziness fatigue like all sorts of issues like actual physical issues so yeah no, it's been a rough summer and it's not over i mean it's basically october and we still have a daily high of about 30 degrees not making things easy it's also kind of ruining my stream schedule because i used to stream from 8 p.m to midnight and that is central european time so uh plus one from uk I can't do that when it's this hot. I have to stop early, 10.30 to 11 maximum, because I have to turn off my PC and let the, let the bedroom cool because I have my entire setup in my bedroom. It's not very comfortable when you have this PC increasing the heat that's already there. When it's 38, 40 degrees outside, at night it's like 32. Even the AC struggles to keep it. But, you know, uh, the nights are getting cooler and the summer schedule should end soon. However, in all this summer thing, I got into a very good place with my post stream routine, where I just sit down, I listen to some podcasts, I listen to some like audiobooks, or I watch like an episode on my phone of like a TV show or something. And it's actually helping me sleep and it's actually helping with my insomnia. So even though we may be able to get back to the old schedule, I may just keep it the way it is right now, just to see how my sleep does. We'll see. Um, this summer I also had a bunch of issues with my PC, talking about uh, the SSD with my operating system where Windows was installed completely failed and that was an entire thing. I had to reinstall everything, get a new OS very quickly, install Windows 11 and Windows 11 has been very very weird and not very cooperative. My mouse died, I had to buy a new mouse and I still seem to have some issues that I cannot really pinpoint. Maybe CPU related, maybe motherboard related. I don't know. There's just weird stuff happening to my PC. I get weird audio glitching and I don't know why I ran a few tests and nothing conclusive came out. I'm still getting random crashes at very weird moments. I definitely had some overheating from my CPU, but I mean, it's just old at this point the cpu and the motherboard are the oldest pieces in my pc i should probably switch them but i don't have the money to do it unless they die unless they completely die i'm gonna have to keep them as they are and uh, you know deal with the crashes deal with the issues but yeah i mean it is the way it is moving on what's gonna happen to the youtube channel moving on so I have something planned, obviously, aside from the VODs being dumped every time, every day, whenever. I don't edit them, I just remove the intro and the outro, so you get just the gameplay. But yeah, they are long 2-3 hours unedited videos on the stream, so I, I, I don't know how many people are interested in those. I just leave them there. I was thinking of separating them, maybe make a, a separate VOD channel and leave the YouTube for like YouTube stuff. I have some compilation videos that I'm preparing. Uh, one of them is a clip compilation from the streams, so a bunch of funny stuff, a bunch of funny moments, a bunch of weird moments. I think that's going to be easy to make uh, if I, you know, have the time. Again, lots of issues with timing right now. I'm actually getting more busy. There is also something that I wanted to do for a while. I'm in the planning stages, but I wanted to make a sort of best of of my stream like talking about the five best games that i played throughout an entire year it's sort of a best of per year but it's not really a game that came out that year it's a game that i played that specific year so for example i have the lists here uh since i started streaming in 2017 uh the top five games are final fantasy 14 that was amazing oxen free hellblade send of sacrifice number two was dark souls 3 plus dlcs and number one was dishonor 2 so i wanted to make a video per year basically and you know talking a little bit about those games talking about why i enjoyed them and why they are in those position you know making honorable mentions where possible because i play a lot of games on stream you know dozens <laughs> every year and some years i have barely anything to talk about some years like uh, 2022 we had so many good games like a lot of very good games so i have a ton of honorable mentions as well it's very hard to decide what's really up there but i'm probably going to keep it in store for the end of the year maybe when i have time during the holidays i'm gonna make a 2023 videos and i could go you know backwards in time and make the old ones other than that I can probably continue a sort of daily run kind of thing. Again, we need to find more games 
but I did enjoy quite a lot making the holes of torment and I can spare an hour or two a day to record a daily and edit it so yeah um, if we find a game to play I'm gonna make more daily stuff that is what you should expect from the YouTube okay streaming wise I do stream basically daily I think I skip like one day every other week but I do stream every night from 8 p.m. to about 11 p.m. again Central European time or a good three hours we just have fun I fire up games long games short games sometimes it's like a game that we finish in two three streams sometimes I stream the same game for a long time and uh, yes we have to address the elephant in the room Elden Ring we I played Elden Ring for basically two months straight. However, I'm a huge fan of the From Software games. I waited a year to play Elden Ring. I was away from every spoilers. Sorry, but not sorry. I played a lot of Elden Rings on my stream. Oh man, it was such a good game. I had enjoyed my time so much. And I'm planning to play and to stream more Elden Ring in the future. Now we already done a full game run. So I'm preparing a custom single player challenge mode that I have completely made up inspired by the bingo lockout. However, the bingo lockout, if you guys don't know, it's like a player versus player kind of thing where you have some objectives to complete before your opponent and whoever completes like a row of a bingo sort of thing uh, wins. Right, obviously I can't do that because I'm gonna play single player, but I have devised a very fun challenge mode where some aspects of the game I'm gonna are gonna have to be locked behind challenges that I'm gonna have to complete. The challenge is gonna be randomized. Um, the, 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 the aspects of the lockout are gonna be randomized. It, it took a while, but I came up with this thing and it's, I don't think anybody else did anything like this. So it's gonna be a completely new kind of challenge and I'm gonna be streaming it, I say around December probably. You know, I have a few other things to do, but uh, that's going to be roughly the time where that comes out. Other than that, um, I know some people loved Voices of the Void. Unfortunately, I had to cancel those streams. I was busy doing other things. And then a new update came out. The update added a lot of new stuff. And now there's another new update. And basically, my old save, I should probably just delete it and start from scratch. So I'm going to do it at some point. It's probably going to be next year. But Voices of the Void, I enjoyed it. Some people don't. It's a weird game. Uh, nothing happens for a long time. And then you have like five seconds of real fucked up stuff happening. I'm going to play it again. I promise. Next, Path of Exile. I know lots of people don't like Path of Exile. And honestly, last few leagues I have not enjoyed. I don't think I am going to stream any more Path of Exile on my channel. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to play it. Now, there's a new league. I'm taking one or two days off the stream. And I'm going to league start with my friends. However, I'm not going to do that on stream. That's it. I don't want any more Path of Exile content on my stream. I don't think. Unless something changes, maybe we'll get back to streaming Path of Exile when Path of Exile 2 comes out. I mean, that's... You know, it's a different game, so it's probably worth playing. But at the same time, I I don't know. It's a weird thing to stream for one, two episodes. Then people don't see what happens to the character. They, I don't play that very often. And it's one of those games that I play whenever I have like half an hour throughout my day, you know? So it's not very good for streaming. And I'm not a full-on Path of Exile streamer. I stream Path of Exile eight hours a day. That's the only way, basically, to stream Path of Exile. <laughs> and I'm not doing that. So yeah, that's out of the channel um what else what else stuff that happened recently i played starfield honestly it's okay i did not enjoy my time in starfield i thought the story and the characters were incredibly boring i played for about 10 hours and i don't think i was entertained once people said hey no keep playing it it, it gets good it, it, it's good at some point and i'm like how many hours do we have to play for a game to become good like 10 hours i can finish a lot of games in 10 hours and enjoy them and if in the entire time i didn't feel like playing anymore i mean i don't think i'm gonna enjoy it i found a lot of issues with the game maybe they're gonna be fixed by modders at some point so i think starfield is one of those things where i'm gonna forget about it and maybe in a year or two i'm gonna come back once the game is heavily modded and we can have some fun with it but now sorry i did not like it so i dropped it however lies of p very good if you know following the stream you know i'm playing it i'm playing it a lot it's good it's basically the best non from software souls like that i've ever played still a few issues but it's almost there you know it's almost at from software perfection and boy boy i'm enjoying it a lot so we are going to finish that however the big thing that's coming it's spooked over now if you guys don't follow my stream you don't know what it is if you do you're probably fairly excited about it every year for the entire month of october 
I play a bunch of spooky games. People seem to enjoy those. I certainly enjoy those. It's just a couple of days away. I am already preparing all that. There's a bunch of games, a very good bunch of games that I lined up for this year. I'm very excited. It's going to be such a good time. Well, I am going to go now. I want to thank you all again for keeping me company, for liking my videos, for watching my streams. It's been a blast. You know, I've been doing this for almost six years now. I, it never got to the point where it's career. I don't care. It's my hobby. I'm enjoying it so much. I'm going to keep doing it, okay? So I don't expect I'm going away anytime soon. All right, guys. I will see you whenever I see you. Take it easy. Have a great day and goodbye.